What's up everybody, welcome back to my kitchen where safety is number one priority and today we're going to put to the test more egg gadgets. Let's see what I got this time. For the first gadget I got here egg yolk separator, pretty new one, you set it up like that, boom. And then you grab an egg and you crack it and drop it into here and let's see what happens. It's supposed to slide and only egg yolk supposed to stay in there but looks like kind of got stuck let's see if I can just shake it up a little bit there you go boom let's try this again it definitely gets stuck but sometimes looks like you'll have to go back and forth with this thing and then it'll, it'll work so I thought it would work a lot better by just dropping an egg it would separate itself but looks like I have to catch it and go back and forth with this thing and then it would work so yeah boom my vision was I would drop an egg the egg yolk would drop instantly in here and I just go egg after egg but as you can see it did not happen I have to go back and forth with this thing it still works but not what I was hoping for anyways let's see if we have better gadgets let's see if this egg separator is going to work even better as you can see it's advertised as a flower so it's more like a cute gadget but now we need to crack an egg inside here I have another gadget to crack an egg you grab an egg put it in here close it and right here two little blades it's supposed to crack an egg and then you open it and boom the egg get cracked perfectly look at that right in half without any problems and look this egg yolk got stuck as well shake it up boom this is in my opinion almost a bit faster and easier and at the same time it looks cute look at it it looks like a flower that's funny anyways boom you got yourself egg yolk separated let's see if it works with a little bit of a smaller egg put it in close it all the way and all you have to do is just press it down and then just open it not all the way with a smaller egg it doesn't work as well as you can see it kind of cracked it but not good enough it slips out so yeah definitely failed with a smaller egg let's start with one more egg a little bit bigger one close it all the way and push it in and separate it so yeah this works with the bigger eggs only does not work with small eggs but once you get the right size eggs it works fantastically and look at that you got another flower over here I really like this egg yolk separated because it does a really good job look you only have a yolk left for the next egg gadget this is one of a kind first of all you got here egg piercer so that way it's easier to peel them when you boil them it works I have put them to the test then there's this kind of slicer and veggie slicer and a slicer like that so let's put it to the test see if it actually works first one very simple put an egg in here and just slice it boom very satisfying but works really really well check this out into the slices nice number two you can put an egg like this and really make it tiny tiny wedges but what I don't like about this the wedges kind of be will be sideways unless you lay an egg sideways like that too so that way it'll go in the middle and you'll have perfect wedges so it works you just don't set the egg state lay it a little bit sideways so that way you will have perfect wedges amazing and probably the most unique piece about this slicer i never seen anything like that you set your egg this way and just slice it like this flip it over slice it like that flip it over and keep going all the way though <clears throat> then you go like this keep doing what you doing all the way in push through and let's see what's gonna happen this is one of a kind slicer I never seen anything like that 
that's for sure. So you're going to have a very cool design of an egg sliced in half. Let's see, boom. Wow, look at that. And boom, that's what you would get by slicing an egg like that. You can even put it back. Check this out. Very unique way to slice an egg. Pretty fun. But what if you want to chop up an egg in a small pieces? Let's try this one, egg press. You put an egg in here, perfect fit, then close it. And what we're going to do is just squeeze it. It doesn't take much because egg is pretty soft. And look at that, how amazing it was. Just use some kind of knife to squeeze it all the way through. There's some leftover in here. But for most part, it did amazing. Put it over the salad or whatever. Really nice. I have here one more egg slicer. Check this out. Boom. I think you stand it up. I guess you can stand it up or lay it down. Whatever. First of all, I'm going to try to use it as a standing up. And let's see how many. Whoa, look, there's a half. There's quarters and slice. So what you do is just cut it in half like this, boom. And you have here perfect half of a boiled egg. That is actually amazing. You wanna slice it up into six quarters, no problem, just stand it up, boom. Take this out and you have here quarters. Works really easy and fun. I'm gonna use that halved egg again and if you wanna slice it into pieces, no problem, boom. Check this out. You can half it and then slice it. Boom. Very simple gadget, but it works really well and it stores really nice. Look at that. It does not fall out. It kind of stays together. Boom. Put it in your door. Easy. It's an egg boiler, whatever stand. There's uh, four legs on this side. We're going to flip in like this and then we're going to put eggs on it. Wow, look at that. That's so weird. I never seen a gadget like that. My eggs are almost too big for this gadget. Boom. And then we're going to stand it in the water. Maybe we need a little bit more water. Let's fill it up all the way. Let's wait about 7 to 10 minutes and our eggs are going to be done. By the way, I still use this egg gadget. I put it to the test a while back ago. This thing is amazing. You just put it in there. And that way we're going to tell if our egg is going to be boiled or not. For those people who haven't seen this gadget, you see it's... There's line soft, medium, hard boiled. This is an egg poacher. Let's see how does this work. We're going to put an egg inside of it and then just hang it on the side like that. Boom. Just like this. And this is another egg poacher. Let's see which one is better. Put an egg like, uh, like this and we're going to just put it like that. And it's supposed to get submerged. Let's wait till it get poached up. One more egg poacher. I think that's how it works. You put an egg in there and then you just let it float. I think. And this is a little scoop for this thing. And right here whole other egg poacher. You put this little thing, you put water in there and then we crack an egg inside of it. Boom. Wow, perfect fit. This is cool. That's actually really satisfying how it fits so perfectly. Man, I'm gonna be eating a lot of eggs today. And then we're going to cover it up. As you can see, this is slowly getting to cook. It's starting to boil and that egg timer is starting to turn white. So not too long left. These eggs are slowly turning white as well, but water is still kind of cold, so. Here's another egg poacher. We put a little bit or water inside of it. Ah, oh, what a mess. And then and then we're gonna need to put an egg in here. This one I'm not gonna miss for sure. Boom. I lost the cover. Where is the cover? Oh here's the cover. And then we're going to cover it up and stick it inside our microwave for like two minutes. And let's see what happens. Alright, the eggs are cooking. That egg timer is already on soft. We're gonna get it too hard. I want it to cook it well. So I can put to the test another gadget. One of this. Something explode in there. Oh no! Oh! Maybe I shouldn't have put it for two minutes. That lid just flew out. You know what? 
this <laughs> both eggs are kind of exploded you know what guys maybe just minute and a half would do it and this is why safety is number one priority because we had an explosion probably the easiest way to poach an egg that's for sure oh no i think i put too much water whoa i think it's done already we gotta take it off this is awesome nice look at that this is awesome this is probably the best one and the fastest one so far except the microwave one wow it's hot i'm gonna let it cool off for a little bit okay that egg timer almost completely turned white okay let's see if it's hot let's start to take it out oh. Wow, this is awesome. Look at that. Now all I have to do is just put it under the cold water and they will peel really easily. And you know what? This is awesome. You can just put it on a breakfast table and that way anybody can have a boiled egg. And wow, that looks actually really cool. I don't know what's happening here. I have no idea why the whole water turned kind of white. It's not even boiling yet. I guess it's a big pot. You know what, so far I like this one the most because you can really tell what's actually happening. Is it cooked or not? Those ones are kind of hard to see what's happening there. Are they cooked or not? I guess I could just pull it out a little bit, look at it, see if it's cooked. Oh, this one is kind of almost done as well. Oh no, disaster, gotta turn off. Whew, almost spilled over. I think it's done anyways. Yeah, they look like they're done. Check this out. That looks like it's poached egg for sure. I'm gonna put it right here. You know what? This one looks like it's done as well. Oh, maybe it should stay longer, but oh well. Okay, let's do a quick taste test. Actually, I'm gonna use a fork. Maybe a spoon is better. Whoa, yeah. Mmm. Wow, it's a little soft. But you know, it does the job. I like it. Let's do a taste test of this poached egg. Yeah, this one poached really well. Wow, poached eggs. Have you ever had poached eggs? Let me know in comments below. And there is one more. This one doesn't cook as fast. So, this one cooks the longest. But nevertheless, it does the job. Mmm, too hot. This egg gadget, we're gonna open it up like this. Boom. Put one egg like that and one egg like this. Let's see what happens all at once. Wow, no way. Look at that. That egg is got chopped up in this quarter, so whatever you call it. And this egg got sliced up really well. And if you need to chop an egg, just flip it over and boom. And you got yourself chopped eggs. Well guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know in comments below what do you think about this video. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.